Hello everyone, this is T-Man. I'm going to be showing you what I do when it comes to cooking one of my favorite dishes. Alright, you're going to need a sharp knife. It's basically something like this. A sharp knife, stirring utensil. Your favorite kind of food, which in this case, my favorite, teriyaki stir fry. And you're going to need to do this. First, you need to open the bag. And this is what I do when it comes to making it. I open the bag. Okay, and... After I've gotten the bag opened, then I take this out, which is the teriyaki sauce. I put that to the side, and this, I drop in there, and you can hear how it's sizzling, can't you? Well, that's because it's just getting hot. And so I take... One, this um, pack of teriyaki sauce that came with it. I put this, the teriyaki sauce, in here with some hot water to warm it up. Okay, so this is how I like to do things. See, you can already see that it's boiling hot right there. So my suggestion, if you're going to cook something like this, don't do this because that'll hurt. Just keep your hands far away from it. This is something else I'm going to do. I'm going to decrease the heat to low just for a little bit. And then... I dump the noodles and the veggies all in. Okay, so that's about the beginning of it where I just let it sit there with the stuff inside. And the stuff I'm going to use on the um, noodles is I'm going to use once after all the frosts I'm going to use some salt some pepper I'm also going to use some crushed red pepper some lemon pepper seasoning minced onion and garlic powder. I don't know why I decided to use garlic powder. I don't really know why, but you know, I'm just going with what I feel is necessary. All right, so the water is hot now, which means we put the water into the buck into the little bowl, and I carefully bring it over to the side of the sink you can see it clearly right here and this is where I'm actually well you'll see okay so I can't fold the the holder down any further so let's just go with what with that now since the noodles are still defrosting in here, I thought I would crank up the heat just a little bit to kind of, you know, boost more of the defrosting. And while I'm waiting, I'm going to be using 
some other types of seasoning and even though that I'm not really an Italian guy let me just take a look at this that smells pretty good the Italian seasoning see Italian seasoning that's the last one I'm going to use well maybe yeah I, that's gonna be the last one I'm gonna use I don't want to use a lot of different seasoning because it'll get way too flavorful way too good and then I'm gonna I don't know what I'm gonna probably do but let's just continue with preparations I'm gonna go into this area, the fridge, and I'm gonna find something real quick on what else I could use with the cooking of this. That's just my mom talking in the background. She's a sweet lady. definitely need this. I mean, I don't have to use it, but I like to use it when I'm cooking because when it gets really hot around the top of the lid, that means the inside's cooking really, really good with the food. So I'm going to use, um, a little bit of this stuff. So let's just go ahead and take the lid off. Okay, that was the pepper. That was the salt and the pepper. Now we add on some of this stuff. Like before, this is the garlic powder. I don't want to add too much. Just enough to where it actually, you know, makes a good smell come out of it. Whoops, not trying to get it to spin around. The one I just added, the second one, which was the Italian seasoning. Now the next one I'm going to add is minced onion. And the last two I'm going to add are lemon pepper seasoning and crushed red pepper. So I'm going to start with the crushed red pepper next. Alright, now it's time for the lemon pepper seasoning. Alright, now um, what I'm going to show you guys next, right after I get this stuff put up, I'm going to tell you guys exactly how this stuff smells. I know you can't really smell it yourself, but 
Let me just get a whiff of this and I'll tell you. It smells good, man. That's some good seasoning right there. Good flavors. Herbs and spices can bring any awesome dish such as this a lot of flavor and make it really, really good. You just want to be careful when you do add stuff like that because if you add too much, then it's going to ruin the food. But if you add just the right amount, like this, then it's all fine. Now, since the sauce, the teriyaki sauce, since that's the frosted, I'm going to cut it open, cut open the pouch of sauce, and just drizzle it around. Man, you gotta love that. The sauce is always the important part when it comes to making this kind of uh, this kind of meal. Now you can personally add anything to this kind of food dish, I mean, or meal or whatever you want to call it. But I personally like to add certain types of herbs and spices, either before or after, or possibly, or you know, any type of herbs and spice before I add the sauce. And sometimes I do it after I add the sauce. Now, for the of the ingredients. I'm going to look in here again and I'm going to find one additional recipe that, I mean not recipe, the kind of sauce that I'd like to add. And I know that it's not necessary to add any other sauce, but, but I'm choosing to add one more. And I've never attempt, never even tried it with this kind of sauce. The mango habanero hot sauce. Yeah, just a few drizzles of that. There we go. Now, that was the last piece that I thought would be nice to have in this, in this uh, dish. I've never tried my stir fry with some, you know, hot sauce in it. Especially a specific type of hot sauce. Which is why I chose to add the mango habanero hot sauce. Which, to be honest, I did a taste test with just that type of hot sauce before. And surprisingly, I loved it. I thought it was awesome. But if I ever tried it in a single recipe that has already been prepared and put together and then put in the store for a customers to buy. Have I ever put it in something like stir fry? No, but hey, there's always a first time for everything, right? Anyway, I'm just gonna cook this and then once it's done, I'll let you guys get a good view of it. And then I'm gonna end this video after that and then I'll give this video an up uh, title 
address it to the public, say that it's for kids, and adults, teenagers, young adults, whatever, and upload it to my YouTube channel. And then once it's fully uploaded, you guys can be able to view it for yourself. If the video is too long, I'm sorry, but that's just how some of my videos are going to end up being. So, this is cooking right now, so I think, personally, I think I'm doing a pretty darn good job of preparing this. Now, I'm cooking it on the difficulty of high which says it right here here look see where my fingers pointing you guys it's pointing at the high word h i and now i'm going to adjust this there you go Now it's cooking. I'm not putting my hands anywhere near this part of the stove area right here because that's going to cause me to burn myself and I don't want to do that. So how are you guys doing out there? Just, um, eh, you know, hanging out. Not really doing much of anything. Just preparing my, my dinner. But I wanted to show you how I prepare and what I add in it other than the stuff that's already put with it. I like to add a, lot, a different herbs and spices and... Now I think I'm going to like it with hot sauce, so I'm probably going to add hot sauce in my stir fry from now on, but you never know. It could turn out really good. Nobody ever knows how good dishes can turn out, or meals, until they put it together, cook it, and try it out. So, the stir fry is still underway you can kind of see how much it's steaming over here So, gonna let that simmer in a little bit. <laughs> Sorry, I guess the flavor is getting into my lungs. The smell of the flavor is kind of getting through and hurt my lungs a little bit, but I guess it's just sometimes the price you pay when it comes to cooking. <clears throat> Let me try again. Ooh, man, that actually smells really, really good, to be honest. Alright, now I'm going to show you just how it turned out. Look at how good I prepared that. Looking good, huh? Anyway, that's going to close out for today's video. Hope you guys enjoy this, and this is T-Man signing off.